Hi, Mark here from HondaAlgaeSolutions.com, and today I want to talk about another type of nutrient that you might find in a large pond. You know, when we use beneficial bacteria along with robust aeration, our main intent is to target the nutrients that feed and spike algae blooms. When you reduce those nutrients down, many times the algae will regress and begin to disappear. The problem is, is that there are a number of different types of nutrients that you'll find in ponds, and they come in many forms. One of those forms is called phosphates. Well, phosphates are definitely a stimulate to algae growth, but they are not as primely targeted, I guess is the word I would use, as some of the other nutrients when you use beneficial bacteria. Ba bacteria has a secondary effect on phosphates, and it may affect it somewhat, but not always, and certainly not enough sometimes. It doesn't take a lot of phosphate in the water to really stimulate growth. So if you've been using beneficial bacteria, as we often suggest, along with good aeration, and you're still having some problems with algae growth, it's a good idea to test your water for phosphate levels and see where that's at. If you're getting uh, a reading that seems high based on the test that you're using, then it's a good idea to look for a phosphate reducer that can be added to your regimen along with the bacteria. Now one of the common tools, one of the common types of phosphate reducers you'll find on the market, one of the brand names is Fosclear, is made out of alum or aluminum sulfate. Now this is a chemical uh, formulation which works very well, but we generally don't like to use it because if your water chemistry is not quite good, meaning the pH is relatively neutral, alkalinity and hardness are not very high, um, then it's okay to use it and it's safe to use. But if you have fish and your water chemistry is off outside of their recommended ranges of use, then it could be very problematic for your fish and dangerous to use. So we don't recommend it all the time. And generally when we are looking at reducing phosphates, we use a natural formulation that works a little bit slower than something like alum, but it does a very good job if you give it a little bit of time to work. And so I wanted to let you know that there are options there. You can find the phosphate reducer on our website at pondalgiesolutions.com. Uh, and if you have other questions about your pond, algae problems, aeration, those kind of things, be sure to contact us there. We'll be happy to help. And I hope you have a great day wherever you are.